what's up guys welcome back to another episode in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to take off line and re-spool your bait casting reels with fresh line so let's get right into it all right guys so the first step to do is going to be to take off your previous line in my case i've already been using this reel so i have line on here and i'm just putting on a fresh new line for the year so i gotta take off this line so that's what i'm gonna do now but if you guys don't have line then just skip forward to the next step but I gotta take the line off, so let's get into that right now. Alright guys, so after you take off all your old line off your reel, you can just toss that to the side. Next thing you want to do is get your line. This is my favorite line, P-Line Floor Clear 12 pound test. So that's what we're going to be using today. So what you want to do, every reel or every spool comes with a sticker. So you basically you just want to take that, rip it through, and you're going to want to put this through all of you guys. So we're going to do that right now. Alright guys, so the next step after you put your line through your guides is to tie the knot onto the reel. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it through the worm guide and then I'm going to show you guys a trick right now of how to tie it to a spool easily. Alright guys, so if you guys have a spool like mine, this is called a wiffle spool. If you guys can see, it has the holes in it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put it through one of the holes and out another. And then you're going to turn your handle one revolution. So you're going to engage your reel spin it around and if you can see the line came out right there so what you're going to do is you're going to get that boom it's going to come around pull it out now your line's completely around and then basically what i do i don't tie a fancy knot because you're never going to go down to your spool so basically what i do is just tie two overhand knots boom so there's one grab your line from in here try to keep it tight at all times and then just pull your tag in so you don't have extra line Tie another overhand knot, boom, then just cinch that down all the way, get your clippers and cut it down as close as you can, pull this out so that way you know what line you're cutting, that's the wrong one, see I would have cut the wrong one just now, so basically just clinch it all down, make sure everything's tight, so that way your line doesn't start coming off your rail, boom, pull it tight, get up as close as you can, boom. Cut it. Alright guys, so after you guys have spooled your line through all your guides and tied your knot to your reel, Tom is going to explain to you actually how to reel it on and the proper way to not get a uh, line twist. Alright guys, so basically what you're going to do is when you have your spool line, as you can see as a circle, you want the black facing out and uh, basically what you want is when you want, stand over there, when you want your line to come off, you want it to come off and into the reel. So it's coming off and it's going in and it's going in the reel like that. So it's the over double, so it's over, over, okay. That's how you want it. And uh, basically the best e and easy way is you get a partner, uh, put a pencil through it, and keep tension, and they'll keep tension so you make your line perfectly smooth and even, and he's going to demonstrate right that right now. So Tommy's keeping pressure on the line, and I'm also keeping pressure by holding the reel from right here on the rod blank, keeping pressure in between my thumb and my pointer finger while I reel it on. And you want to go slow at the beginning just so that you get a perfect, uh, even on the bottom of the spool. So basically, you're just going to start reeling, keep tension, and then you can just start reeling as fast as you want. So you have to come up spool, guys. You want to hold it with tension on the fingers and just let it come up just like that. Perfect. All right, guys, so I just finished reeling all the line onto my spool, and basically what your reel should look like after is a perfect, even spool of line on your reel, and there should be no bumps, no uneven parts, and you should have just a tiny one-eighth of an inch gap 
not on the curved part, but on the actual flat part that goes down. You don't want it to be up on the curved part because when you cast, all the line is going to come off and you're going to get a backlash and you're not going to know what's happening. But it's because you have too much line or you have too little line. This is about perfect right here. So thank you guys for watching this episode. And before I go, I want to show you guys this is what your reel should look like after you're done. Basically, you shouldn't have too big or too little a gap. You want an eighth of an inch on the flat part that actually goes down to the spool. Because on the spool, as you can see, there's a little curved part. That part, if you're on there, just take it off because that's too much. On the actual flat part, you want it to be right below where it starts to curve. So you should have a perfect even spool of line. And when you hold it with no tension, it shouldn't fall off. If it falls off, then that means you didn't do it tight enough. As you can see, it's still sitting there without any tension on the line. So that's how you know it's perfect. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys learned how to spool your line with Baitcaster. I know I've heard a lot of questions of it, but until next time, see you guys on the water.